Ever since Halo Infinite was cancelled, we have not received any news updates in regard to the game or when it could possibly be released, while new information now suggests that we could get an update before the end of the year. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. I don't think I stand alone when I say that it was a huge disappointment when the news broke that Halo Infinite would be delayed. What made it even worse was the fact that no new date was set and since that announcement we have not received any real updates regarding the progress well that could change soon because we have now been hearing whispers that we could get an end of the year update now unlike any previous news regarding the game this news comes directly from the developers at 343 studios so we can't take it as much more reliable so this is what 343 had to say about why we have not received any updates and when we can expect one we want nothing more than to answer your questions we can't wait to go deep into the detail about the rich stories and the characters in the Halo Infinite campaign to dive into exactly how customization and progression works and shows up visually in the multiplayer experience and provide a detailed look at the incredible depth of content across the entire game. And then they went on to say we are working with the team to provide an end of the year update and establish plans to be more communicative in the coming months so that is the official statement and based on that it looks like we can get our first update before the end of the year. Now I do not expect anything big but maybe just a small update regarding the progress and maybe even a new small teaser trailer. I really like what CD Projekt Red has been doing with their live shows informing the community that way. I don't think 343 will go that deep but it would be nice if more companies did that. Now just to be clear news regarding the game has not been completely silent. We have received a few tidbits the biggest one being Phil Spencer suggesting that the game could be released in two parts. First the story and then the multiplayer. Phil Spencer said in an earlier interview with Kotaku when asked about the possibility of Halo being released in two parts. Bonnie referring to Bonnie Ross the founder and head of 343 Industries and the team will go drive those decisions. But I think we want to make sure people feel like they have a Halo experience. I think we can look at options like that. So yeah, I think that is something to think about, but we want to make sure that we do it right, he concluded. Now this is not the first time that information like this has popped up. Multiple reports have suggested that Xbox was really considering this approach to avoid a delay but ultimately decided against it at the time. I do think that this is something that is a possibility, although I think that it will be a big mistake. I think just like with Call of Duty, most people buy Halo 4 the online experience experience but the bad story can still ruin you. Splitting up story and online can make fans even more pissed off given the fact that the game was already delayed. Although now that I think about it I do believe that both GTA and Red Dead Redemption did something like that and it worked out fine for them. But I can't remember if they released a broken online experience or if it was just delayed. But 343 should really take their time with the game and just make sure that everything is done and complete before releasing. Releasing. Since the plan was to release on 10 November and the delay happened in July or August I think the game must be close to finish. I do not think that they are completely rebuilding it just fixing some of the parts. How big that task is I do not know but I don't think it will take another year. However I would rather have them take another year than release an unfinished game. People will forgive you for delay but they won't forgive you for a broken game. On that note though this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button if you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe wash your hands don't touch your face and i hope to see you again soon